Good morning. Happy Labor Day. It is Monday and we are back home with the neighborhood. We're just kind of easing into the day. Yesterday we had so much fun. Um, I didn't really film a lot just because we were with some friends and we took a boat ride in the morning and hung out in the day and just had some nice kind of escape family time. That's so important to unplug and we definitely did. We ended up um, hanging out with some neighbors over there as well and it was just a really fun day but it also felt equally good to come back home and we had a couple frozen pizzas for dinner just kept it super simple and went to bed relatively early which I really needed I was so tired and I feel great today so so far um, I feel like the day is just ticking right away but the sun has come out. I thought it was going to be kind of cloudy, but it's really pleasant. Um, I have gone for a run, so this is, you know, a little slept on wet hair plus a run. So it actually has a surprising amount of volume. So maybe I go in with my curling iron and try and, I don't know, fluff it up even more. But I'm not totally sure what we're doing today. We're still kind of getting our plan together, but it's just so nice to not have a plan. You know, you really have to carve out margin in white space and just kind of let let things happen sometimes so that's the plan for today and I couldn't be happier about it I have been brainstorming a little bit this morning for our son's birthday party for next week and um, he's gonna have a little luau so that should be fun he's looking at his party decor right now actually and I've just been coming up with fun food ideas. Anywho, um, nice just to relax, and it felt so good to run this morning. I had taken Saturday and Sunday off, which I do like to do, um, of course, from time to time, but man, it felt great today, and started the day with some lemon water like normal as well, and that just felt really cleansing. I actually need to go take my multivitamin vitamins still, but yeah, trying to, make good choices and have another fun holiday weekend. I'm so glad we have one extra day. I had a few things waiting for me on the doorstep when we got home, so I thought I would show you real quick what came. These are both from Nordstrom. I picked up the new brow, brow enhancing serum from the sale and it just now has come. So I am excited to try this. I've tried the Grande Brow Serum before and I really like the results but you definitely have to keep doing it. So I've heard great things about this one and I also love that it has the little brush thing up here to kind of comb everything through. So gonna start adding this to the beauty routine and then I needed a new pair of white denim. Mother is my go-to brand, so I'm excited to try these. They're like a straight leg denim. I like them. I like that they're just really straight. So I went ahead and sized up pretty much two sizes. I always size up one size in white denim, but I had heard that these ran small, so I sized up one more time. So I'll give these a shot later. Hopefully they work out. And then I ordered a couple things from the McKenzie Child's barn sale and they took forever to get here. I feel like that was a month ago, but I'm super excited. I This is my first McKenzie Child stuff and I think it's darling. The barn sale happens once a year. These were I think like 25% off. So this is a really cute little, it's called the squash pot. And so it's really like stout and squatty. Um, and I think it'll be great to keep matches or Q-tips or you could use it for sugar cubes. I don't know, endless possibilities with this. So I think it's really cute. I know if you get several of them, you can actually, you know, stack them one on top of the next. So this is my first one. I did the blue, the Royal check, and I think it's really sweet. So that is exciting. And then the last thing I got, let's see if I can open this with one hand. I got a cake knife. So eventually I'm hoping to get the beautiful ceramic cake stand that matches this courtly check. But for now I picked up, it wasn't on sale in the barn sale, but this was. And if I know I wanna get the cake stand eventually, I figured might as well get the cake knife. So it looks really nice, feels solid um, in the hand. And I think it's just a really classy, traditional look. So there's my latest haul. I went ahead and just tried on my new jeans and I'm loving them. They've got a really high rise. It's a button fly. Love that they use white buttons. 
and I'm so glad I sized up to a 31. Um, I think these are perfect. You want your denim to be fitted, of course, but never too, too tight. So I think this is really good. Um, I love the look of the black top and white denim, really year round. And I felt like the white denim I had was just needing a little refresh. Um, I think I have two pairs of skinny white denim and one pair that's like a really wide leg. So I was intrigued by these that are, they're more of a straight leg, almost like a baby boot cut, but I think they'll really look cute with boots and booties because of the hem. And, um, the high rise is going to work with some of the like more cropped tops and everything for fall. So these are going to get some major use, uh, in the wardrobe. So very cute. I really enjoy doing monochromatic looks. And so I knew with these particular white boots, which I picked up majorly on sale this summer, I was going to want a more cropped streamlined denim for them. So these boots are Alexander Wang. They've got this really fun detail in the back that's kind of open. It almost, you know, looks like you're floating here. But I think the length of this denim is perfect for this particular pair of booties. And I have a lot of boots and booties that are kind of mid shaft or lower. So I think these jeans really are going to be super useful. And they really show off your shoes so, so well. Before I get too much further into the day, I really need to just make my bed. So that is what I'm going to do now and kind of spruce up the bedroom. It's amazing when you do that simple act every single day, it can really give you a lot of, I don't know, centeredness as if you have yourself together every single day. And it's those little things that we can do that give us a little bit of a sense of control and they really don't take that long at all. So I'm gonna go do that and I will feel 10 times better about the day. I'm just about to unpack my bag for my little weekend getaway trip and I thought I'd show you what all I brought with me. I wasn't sure if we were going to stay one night or two so I definitely had way more than I needed but you know what better be safe than sorry. So first things first though I got to put on a little gloss. This is such a pretty gloss. This is by La Mer. It's called the Lip Volumizer and it's really cooling and refreshing. It's got a cool little doe foot with a slight swoop. It's really nice. It's kind of like a mix of mintiness and vanilla and it feels so luxurious. So I love things like this for every day when you're, you know, completely bare faced, you haven't showered after your run yet, but you can feel like a million bucks real quick with something like this. It's really pretty paired over just a nude liner for a really plump, full lip look. So I keep that right here for now. Um, but normally I keep it in my everyday handbag because it's one of those things you can just slap on and go and not have to even have a mirror to apply. But here's the bag that I brought. This is a Think Royland bag and I think I got it from Shopbop a while ago, but they come in lots of really fun colors. I love this metallic gold with a little bit of the gray on the webbing trim right here. Um, that way you can pair it with your two-tone looks, no problem. And it has uh, one zipper on the top and lots of space to grow inside. It's kind of like a quilted, soft, squishy bag. So those are probably my favorite bags for little weekend trips, which is what we tend to do the most. Um, it also looks really great if you are flying somewhere eventually. It fits on top of a roll-on carry-on bag, really easy. The straps are wide enough to go over the handles, no problem. So I actually have a gold bag that I got from Walmart last year before we flew to California for Christmas, and they look so cute together. So this has been a great bag, and let me show you everything I have inside. Got my little headband for my boat hair little bag of toiletries here. This is a cute little bag I found off of Walmart recently. It's just this really pretty like nude patent color and I love it because you can see exactly what's inside. I want to say this is TSA approved and let's see what all I have in here. 
brought a little M61 Power Glow moisturizer for nighttime. This stuff is great, especially when I travel. I feel like just in case I can't wash my face as well as normal for whatever reason, like I feel like this eats away at anything that's on your skin while you sleep so that you wake up with a nice glow. So that's a great moisturizer. Little travel size toothpaste from the dentist. I have an electric toothbrush, but they always offer their little, you know, other doodads and got the toothpaste to go. I had a dentist appointment earlier this week, which was really helpful because I had a little mini Listerine to bring too. And the only thing I have in here left is a little sample of ceramic slip. I didn't end up using this. I had a cleanser at the house I forgot about, but I do love the ceramic slip. Anything Sunday Riley is great. I use Good Jeans a couple times a week and I had use that as well. This makes a really great mask. If you combine it with good jeans, you can throw it on your face for like 10 minutes for a quick facial. That's lovely as well. Got a pair of um, jean shorts. These are so cute. I love the distressing on the pockets. These are some mother denim shorts and I always size up in shorts. So I'm usually a 29 in jeans and in shorts. I like to do a 30. So that's what these are. Cut off little frayed hems at the bottom. Super cute, comfortable. I brought a sweatshirt just in case, but I didn't end up wearing it. It actually still has the tags on, but how cute is this? I love the little pineapple and the detailing on the back. It's Billabong. I bought it. I sized up. It's got a nice little hood. Um, just because when you wear a hoodie like this, you really want to be comfortable. So I'll save that for another time. And a little face cloth. I love these. I get these off of Amazon. Um, this one's used, pardon me, but it's got a really soft like microfiber side. Well, two sides that are microfiber, but has a little loop. So it's really soft and gentle on your face when you're washing at the end of the day. Can't leave home without a swimsuit. I love this one. So cute. I had this one last year and um, I've gotten a lot of use of it this year as well. It's by Becca and I love Becca swimsuits. This one's got the prettiest little gold like metallic thread in it. So it really picks up the sunshine and um, her suits are pretty true to size. And I love her one pieces as well. She just has some really fun style hair clip. I have two of these. I have one in gold and one in silver. I saw these at TJ Maxx this weekend when I went to. They had a bunch of them. They're really good. So I do have some like packing bags. I only brought this one um, for my wet beach stuff. So my swimsuit actually wasn't terribly wet, but it is lined on the inside with kind of like a PVC material. And I love the little fun pom pom details. But these bags are great just to keep you organized when you're on the go. I think this was a little shop pop set as well. I think I have one that has like a hair dryer on it and a lingerie bag, shoe bag, stuff like that. So when you're taking a bigger trip, it is nice to keep everything just really clean and organized. It's easy to find stuff. I did bring one other Becca swimsuit. This is a crochet one and I love this suit. I actually have it in white as well. I bought the white at full price, but I found this black one at Marshall's and it's just as pretty and beautiful as before. So you never know. They have some great stuff. And then I've got this cute little pair of shorts. These are from Loft, I believe. I love to put them with like a high, um, high neck white tank top. I just think this blue and white print is really fresh and they have cute slash pockets. They run really true to size. They are short, but because they are wider on the leg, they're really flattering and they've got a nice drawstring elastic waist. Here's my uh, PJs. Soma is my go-to place for PJs. These are so soft and they have washed so very well. I love the pattern on the side. These are just some pants and I have a matching cami that goes with them. It's really pretty like double straps. It's really loose and flowy. It has a little bit of a you know elastic shelf bra inside so it's really nice for when you're with the family you're comfortable but have just a little bit of support here's that uh white tank top i like to put with those blue and white shorts i have this in black too it's just from target it's a new day they probably still have these i would say i i got my true size but i would say honestly size up did shrink a little bit so something to consider 
brought my uh, favorite commando bando style bra to wear with that white tank. You can like crisscross the straps in the back for the racer back, but this is super thin and low profile, but it is so, so comfortable and really useful in a lot of different ways. Ooh, one more swim thing. I forgot I even had this in here, but we would have used it. I brought a really cute cover up. It's just like a white fringy sarong. So that with the black suit, you really can't go wrong with black and white. It's such a timeless classic look. Pair of kid socks, pair of my socks. One more piece of lingerie. I love this bra. It is so pretty. I have it in black and nude. It has this really pretty detail in the front. It's by Chantel. It's very thin and low profile which I love, and it's got this nice wide band in the back, so it's really smoothing underneath your clothes. I like bras like that to pack because they just fold up really flat. Nothing's gonna get squashed, so bag fell down. All right, and then in here, I love these little bags from Ziploc. This is kind of a fun flamingo print one, but I have 10 of these scattered throughout the house and on our different boats, but it's great to have a bag like this for um, if you are gonna be near the water. So inside here, I just have a few little things. I have my key fob from Louis Vuitton. So I wanna keep that really protected from the water. And then can't leave him without a little hand sanitizer. I actually really love this one. It's the Bath and Body Works spray. This one's in lavender, but they have a bunch of fun scents and um, it smells really nice. It feels really good. It's pretty affordable. So check these out. And of course, a gloss. This is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. Love this. This is in the shade Reef. It's super pretty. It's a, just a really bright pink shade. So check this out. It is also like a plumping kind of feeling gloss, um, but it doesn't sting. It's not too much. So that's everything that's in my bag. I'm going to put all this stuff away. I just put on one of my very favorite lipsticks for fall. Wanted to spotlight it for a second. This is a Tom Ford lipstick. It is, I think the only one I have, definitely have a full size. I've had a few minis over the year, but look at this gorgeous packaging. It is definitely a luxurious lipstick, but it's really worth it. I have it in the shade Sugar Glider, and it looks like this. Such a beautiful, like dusty plum color. So I've just applied it to my lips. It has a really pretty sheen. It's very emollient and moisturizing, but it stays on. It doesn't get all over the place. Assuming you don't have to wear a mask, which I might if I run out later. But it is definitely a fall favorite. It looks so pretty with so many different looks and definitely um, pairs beautifully with another fall favorite, which is the NARS Blush in Sin, which is this like purpley gold blush. So pretty. And there's another NARS one that I love to use. It's kind of a bronzy color. Let me see what that one's called. I brought out my two NARS blushes to show you. These are two of my very favorites for fall. So the first one is Sin, which is that really purpley gorgeous shade with a little bit of gold pearl in it. Love this. And you can see how that would complement the lips so well. And the other one is Lovejoy. And it's this really nice neutral shade that you can almost bronze with. And you can definitely go kind of heavy in the contour area if you're not full out using it as a bronzer. But it has a little bit of red in it. Something about this shade can really work beautifully as a bronzer blush. The red in it gives a really nice tone to the cheek. So I love this one. It, these NARS blushes are very blendable. I've honestly had them for a couple years now and I use them year round, but pretty much they're my favorites for fall. Here are the shades together. Aren't those lovely? So pretty. So either one of these blushes with a little sugar glider on the lips by Tom Ford, and uh, just such a pretty look. I just finished getting ready for the day and wanted to show you my look. It's kind of funny, as I was putting it on, I was like, what in the world? I'm wearing some more <laughs> Lily Pulitzer. I don't really have that much Lily stuff, 
but I guess this weekend I've been trying to focus on wearing, you know, more summery type clothes and a lot of her prints and patterns are super summery. So this is what I have going on. I've got these really fun pants. They are super stretchy. They kind of feel like yoga pants, but they've got this really pretty detail on the side here. They've got these button snaps and of course they're in gold. So you can kind of customize how many snaps you have open or you can take them totally down and make them more into like an ankle pant. But I've got these paired with um, some wedges just for a little bit of lift. These are Eileen Fisher. They've got a little gold sparkle in them and they're kind of the espadrille, you know, ropey material there on the bottom. And I just paired these really bold pants with a simple white tee. This is, I believe it's all in favor. It's really soft and I just knotted it up in the front super simple and then have a little rose gold pendant with a kind of like a muted rose pop of pink and then um for my earrings i've got these really cute ear crawlers by nadri and they're like a rose gold with some little studs ended up doing my like t3 hair waver thing um and i think it turned out good and then i did put a little bit of a little hairpin over here if you can see and again, it's just some rose gold. I'm sure I got this at CVS, but that is, you know, my super comfortable and casual look of the day. For my makeup, I wanted to play around with a few little purple tones. So I put some kind of plum mauve shades on the lids, really light liner on the bottom. I did my favorite foundation combination, which is the Estee Lauder and Bobbi Brown Serum Foundation. And I think it'll be really long lasting today. And I've been loving the Sun Bunny bronzer. I just think it's so pretty. So I can't believe I got that for half off at Ulta. I haven't checked today to see what is uh, in the 21 Days of Beauty, but I need to check into that. Here's a closer look at the eye in the kind of plummy, pretty tones. Getting ready for fall over here. I'm so excited. Let me show you what the palette looks like that I used. It's from Lime Crime looks like this the venus palette and i used some of the more plummy ones let's see here's a better look at the shades how cute is this little sample size of soleil blanc by tom ford it's a little roller ball and couldn't be more cute it smells like summertime in a bottle absolutely a little bit of sunscreen with a little bit of sandalwood or musk mixed in it is so delightful i've enjoyed this little guy so much and they make a great body spray of this scent as well so it's in a more affordable way to try out some tom ford if you haven't seen it before give it a look I've added one more fun detail to my look today. I thought in honor of all the pinks and blues I have, I'd bust out these bad boys. There's some really great aviators with a little pink and blue ombre. And they've got the little monogram logo print on them. I love them so much. They were a surprise birthday gift for my husband this year. He did good. He did real good. Um, and then I've been wearing them on this fun little chain um, around the neck. So how cute is that? They're really great for on the go because you don't have to mess up your hair, especially if you have like a wavier hairstyles. Sometimes the sunglasses with nose pieces like this, they can get stuck in your hair. So I love these um, on the chain. I just think it's really elegant. You can kind of push this piece up and it really disappears or you can do it further back too but it adds a really fun dimension to your look and it's kind of super practical. I did go ahead and um, adjust my necklace a little bit higher so that when I pull these down they don't you know get in the way of one another but I love that the pendant is adjustable too so um, if I go run some errands after lunch these are going to be the sunglasses that I have nearby. I'm just taking a quick little break to have a bite to eat. How good does this look? Little carrots, hummus, and then the salad is one I haven't tried before from Trader Joe's. A little Middle Eastern salad. It's like some quinoa, chickpeas, parsley, tomato, onion. It's really bright and refreshing. And of course, glass of water with it always. Gonna grill up a little tri-tip later. It's still thawing. Should be good.
The other place I was thinking about going is Bath and Body Works to see if they have a little pedestal that kind of fits their three wick candles to give a little bit of lift. I saw a marble one recently. I don't know if they'll still have it in store. I didn't see it online, so we'll see. But I thought that could be kind of cute. And that is near some other shopping. So hopefully I don't do any extra shopping I don't need to do. But I'm going to try and be fast everywhere because I don't want to be gone too long. I'm chewing gum under my mask. Isn't that the weirdest thing? I am all masked up and going to head into Kohl's and see if I can find something quick and easy with my Kohl's cash. Wish me luck. Well, that was absolutely a success. I spent $10.85. I can't wait to show you what I got. And I was in there for like five minutes or less. <laughs> um, I got a really cute pink cropped sweatshirt with some butterflies on it. And then a really fun headband that kind of looks like a scrunchie. And a really uh, cute pair of earrings too. So success, $10 spent, new outfit, check laid everything out for you to see. This is the sweatshirt. I got an XL in it. It says Le Papillon on the bottom. I love that it's like the crew neck style with this ribbing. That looks really cute. It's super fleecy and soft on the inside. I think it'll look great with um, jeans with a little front tuck. You could even make it work with a pair of bike shorts possibly. We'll have to see. And then this headband is just so fun. I love how, you know, scrunchy like it is. And it's kind of like a nice neutral color. So I thought that would look cute with the butterflies for sure. Kind of like a 90s feel outfit, but I'm here for it. I'm okay with it. And then I just thought these were so pretty and sparkly. I love the kind of bronzy hardware on them and the little pop of turquoise. These with like a black top and some denim, I think it'd be really cute. And anything that's the kind of like hoop style that's front facing, I think it's really fun. So yeah, not too bad for $10.85. All right, let's see if they have the little stand I'm looking for, fingers crossed. So funny, back in my 20s, I used to wait in line to get into, you know, dance clubs, bars, stuff like that. Now I am in my 30s waiting to get into Bath and Body Works because they only allow like 12 people in the store at a time, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. Um, I just found the most beautiful leaf on the ground. <laughs> Look, it's actually turning to fall. It's happening. I, it's not just in my mind. Like this is legit. So um, very appropriate because I got you know, a few little all type things. Hold on. Okay, I don't necessarily need another candle, but I got me one. This one's Autumn Woods, creamy on the inside. It's gonna match my house so pretty because I've been doing kind of navy and gold. And this one, it's Autumn Woods, dark walnut, English lavender, white amber with essential oils. So I'm excited about that. Their three wicks were $10 off today. And then I also got this golden sunflower. It's a little whipped glow shin made with sunflower seed oil. So the girl at the store promised me if I didn't like it, I could return it. But she said it's not glitter chunks. It's like a little shimmer. So there were no testers in the store, but this looks kind of promising. Sorry, it's probably kind of shadowy light right now, but that's an option. And then I had two more. So these, I got two of these, these were both free. So there's these marble little candle stands. You can put your candle up on it, just like that. So super cute and those were both free. So I did good in there, way to use all my promos, right? This curiosity is getting me. I've already sanitized my hands. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this and see how it is. There's definitely some glitter, but it smells really nice. I don't know, can you tell? Is it pretty? I just ran out of body butter, so it caught my attention. I mean, you can definitely see the glitter, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to assess, but it does smell really good for what it's worth. Got my Target pickup order. I got two things. Let me reach in and show ya. One is this camisole 
it's nude. I have it in medium, but I wanted to try it in large. So just like a really nice layering piece. And then how beautiful is this fabric? This is like a really long duster. And I just love the little hint of rust and orange with the kind of blush pink. So I think this would be great for summer, you know, as a cover up. But what I really want to use it for moving into fall is wear it with some jeans and a tank top and it, you know, basically hits the floor. So I can't wait to try that on. I just thought it was so pretty. I got the medium large. Well, that was a successful trip. Found a few things on my to-do list. I had my husband text me the list that I have left at home. That was very helpful. I didn't get everything, but there's always Costco for the big stuff. And I got a good start of goodies. I forgot to get all the cake stuff though. So we'll have to go do that at some point, but they didn't have charcoal, so I have to do another stop anyhow. Um, but I would say they had a ton of really fun, like tropical drinks for the luau. So that was good. And they had a few cute little things to throw in the pinata. And I even found a really darling birthday card for my sweetheart that says pineapple party. So that will be uh, really perfect for him on his big day. I have no idea what he wants for his birthday. So I got to work on that and hopefully Amazon can save the day as it always does. So that's all my errands for now, other than gotta get charcoal. Ooh, better go do that. Well, no real surprise. The grocery store was absolutely bumping, but found some charcoal, some buns, and then I did find a really yummy looking cake mix to make our pineapple shaped cake. It's lemon. And so I think even though it won't taste like pineapple, it's gonna look like a pineapple and I think it'll go with the kind of tropical theme. So that should be really good. I'm gonna have a quick little snack before I do a little cul-de-sac happy hour with some friends. But this sauce, if you can get your hands on it, is so delicious. It's from Costco. It really is good on a variety of things. It's great with chips, crackers. I had it with some little baby broccoli. Um, I've eaten it with chicken on a salad, like almost like a dressing. It's so, so good. See if you can find it, Costco. Well, I just finished happy hour with the neighborhood girls. So I'm going to see how the grills look and my husband did all of this. I can take no credit other than purchasing the meat, but woo, we are having a Labor Day grill kind of weekend. We've got our tri-tip wrapped up in the foil and then these hot dogs look pretty good. I don't think we've tried the butcher box hot dogs. So hopefully they're yummy. They have like a special little pack for the holiday. So we got that and then a couple peppers. We have some corn tortillas inside. It's gonna be great. Here's our other fixins. We've got some tomato, corn tortillas for the tri-tip, buns, of course, for the dogs, and then a little leftover baby broccoli. Hopefully we can finish that up too. Should be really good. Hope y'all have had a wonderful holiday weekend. We sure have. I am all sweaty and glowy from the cul-de-sac hangout, but just wanted to say good night and hope you had a wonderful holiday weekend. Bye.